Hey everybody, it's YouTube Media. Today I'm going to go through computer security and the top three antivirus software that I chose based off of lots of websites, research, and ratings. But remember, it's somewhat a matter of opinion. Okay, so for the top antivirus programs, number one is actually a tie. So number one is Norton 360 and Casper Sky Internet Security. Number two, Bitdefender. Number three, ESET Nod32. Okay, so now for some ways to keep secured on the internet. So a great way to avoid dangerous websites is to use a toolbar called McAfee Site Advisor. It's just this little toolbar right here that you download to your browser 100% free. And it displays the ratings of each website you're on. And it does a color rating of each website. And when you search things, it'll rate each website in the results and tell you whether it's safe or not. So, for example, I'm going to search something and search something on Yahoo and it brings up these little color ratings next to each result. So, let me show you. Okay, so basically these are the different color ratings. There's red for dangerous, do not visit it. Caution, yellow for, um, you know, minor risk. Green is safe and then this McAfee Secure is completely safe, no doubt. So here are the results. So green, these sites are most likely okay. Yellow, I would not visit. That, that's risky. They have links to bad downloads. It tells you here. It does a little review. And then McAfee Secure right here. This is 100% safe. Smartluck.com, obviously, because it's McAfee Secure. They test these sites like a thousand times a day for security issues and stuff like that. So it will rate each website. And I would never recommend you go to yellow or red marked websites. And then there's also this gray question mark, meaning unknown. It has not been reviewed, so it could be risky going to it. All right. And it also tells you the rating of the current site you're on. So, like, I'm on Yahoo.com, and it's green. The little bar is green, and it'll change color depending on the rating of the website. Okay, so that's that. You can download it 100% free. Link is in the video description. And same with the uh, color ratings and stuff, too, here. Also, another great way to prevent you from getting infected is blocking bad websites before you even visit them. So you can't technically get infected if you've never visited it. And the way I do this is a, I use a free parental control program called Blue Coat K9 Web Protection to filter out bad websites with like viruses and stuff. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it opens up in your internet browser tab instead of like its own application itself. So it's a really small size program. So then you click setup and you type in the password that you set when you download the program to access the control panel. So this is the main control panel. So this is web categories to block. You need to have this enabled to filter out bad stuff like spyware, suspicious phishing stuff. I would suggest you have it set on default or moderate. Okay, so let's go to uh, advanced. Um, okay, here's some advanced settings like force safe search. Basically, when you search stuff on certain ser like Google and stuff, it's gonna only show safe results. So I suggest you have that checked. And let's go to blocking effects. Um, you can make it bark when you go to a website that's blocked. It'll bark at you. So I'm gonna save that and have that checked. There's website exceptions like a block and allow list of websites. So let's go to a block website I have blocked just for an example like twitter.com so I'm gonna press enter there you go and it blocked at me you can hear it and this is the block notification page uh, category blocked it's categorized as social networking and so basically I can scroll down here at the bottom you can do allow this site for a certain amount of minutes you can do allow this category or you can do it permanently so I'm gonna click permanently allow this site you have to type in your password and then hit enter and there you go so now it's permanently allowed and it redirects me to the website so that's kinda cool you don't have to go back to the program and tell it to allow Twitter you can do it straight from the um, what you know the page when it's blocked so yeah um, this is a great program you can use also view internet activity um, I don't really use this for the sole purpose of parental control I just use it to filter out bad stuff. But if you do want to use this as a parental control program, this is a great one to use. It's hard to get around, it requires a password to uninstall, and it blocks all those anonymous surfing proxy websites too. There's like a history of what you visited and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through all this because that's not what I'm using this for. So yeah, that's a great program you can use is K9 uh, Web Protection. Blue Coat K9 Web Protection. And also, I haven't really noticed this slowdown my internet speed. You're probably thinking it's going to slow down your internet. I've never really noticed a slowdown personally, so. 
Okay, this one is for Firefox browsers only, unfortunately. But I found this great little free Firefox add-on called No Script, and I have it downloaded right here at the bottom of my browser. Basically, it blocks a lot of the sources where viruses come from on websites like JavaScript, ActiveX controls, Flash Player, and etc. And also bad ads that just redirect you to garbage crap. So, so for example, when I'm on CNET.com, I have it running, and it blocked this bad ad right here, and it covered it with its little symbol, so I can't go to it. If I click on it, I can click OK to allow it, allow me to go to it, but I don't want to do that. And so, basically, right here, it's blocking this because it's just a bad advertisement that you don't really, they don't think you should be clicking on. And so, if I want to unblock it, I go down here on this bar. This is the no script bar. Click Options, and I can go to allow2md.net. That's the source of this advertisement. So if I click that, um, it's going to refresh the page by itself, and now the ad appears. And so, basically, like, let's go to a website like ask.com. Right now, as soon as you go to a website, this does get a little annoying. This little bar pops up, and you can click Options, and click Allow the website, which is ask.com. And now this appeared. So it was blocking some of the features, which was Flash Player, obviously, which is where virus can, viruses can come through. And so whenever I visit a website, basically, a bunch of stuff comes up and it's going to display this little display this little bar here and these are all the websites that is trying to get access but it blocks so if you want to change it you just click options and allow or temporarily allow which websites you want it to be able to visit so just go and then there's also like options and stuff but you'll get used to it and it'll get a little annoying but just ignore it because you can usually still Vi view the website perfectly fine without all the ads that it's blocking. See, all these websites are crap that it's just blocking that you don't need to visit. Basically, to simplify it, when you visit one individual website, multiple other sites are trying to gain access to your computer to display ads and other stuff on that same page. And if you click Options, this is the list of all the different stuff that is blocking that is unnecessary where viruses can come from. So you can allow them if you want. So yeah, that's called NoScript. It's a free jo um, Firefox add-on. Now one last tip, when you surf the internet on any browser, under your settings you should always unallow third-party cookies. So you should uncheck accept third-party cookies and click OK, because generally third-party cookies will track what you do and can bring in bad malware and stuff like that. Oh.